the underlying factor for trend analysis with candlestick signals is the fact that the T-line, the 8 exponential moving average, always shows that if as long as you're trading above the, uh, the T-line, you're in an uptrend. As you can see, today's trading in the Dow, even though it was languishing early in the day, finally came up and traded positive, continuing this uptrend. The NASDAQ, although it didn't trade up with any great resiliency, is still illustrating the same thing, that it's never been able to close below the T-line, and it's hovering right here at the 200-day moving average, with the T-line still pushing upwards. This is what causes the T-line crunch. If they can't close it below the T-line, the T-line will continue to push things up where it breaks through that resistance level. The same scenario can be applied to individual stocks, such as Netflix. Notice how the T-line is pushing up through what can be perceived as a top of this uh, wedge formation or a resistance level. If they continue higher, the breakout should cause the same type of magnitude move as wave one, then you go into wave two, then you start wave three. The probabilities of being in a bullish trade are greatly amplified by using candlestick patterns. Notice how the left-right combo started the J-hook pattern, and now you've broken out through this resistance level. This makes for a very simple trading strategy. All you have to do at this point is stay long until you see a sell signal, but the prospect of this breakout um, implies that wave three could be this same magnitude. All this really does is tell you the exact spot where you want to be buying so that your, your ultimate entries are right at levels that tell you something new is happening. You don't have to sit around waiting for something to, uh, to occur while you're, you're sitting in the position. Recognizing the pattern, such as the J-hook pattern, in this case, you could see the piercing signal and then the trajectory starting back up. That once again, a strong move in this case would be the same magnitude as this move right here. So not only do the candlestick signals and patterns illustrate when to exactly get into a uh, position, but it allows you to, to estimate what the magnitude of that move will be. making our recommendation for tomorrow also very easy on our recommendation in CLF the fact that the T-line is acting as a resistance level or a support level I'm sorry and the fact that they did kind of a morning star signal right here on the T-line tells us positive trading from here creates another J-hook pattern that could likely take you up to the top of this trend channel Again, human nature works the same way time after time, and because they create patterns that are consistently recognized, it allows the candlestick investor to be in the right positions at the right time. So as an options trader, if you weren't buying calls on UTX at this level, where your bullish harami finally broke up above the T-line, you could still buy with a high degree of probability at this level where you had the bobble breakout, a failure at a resistance level with a sell signal. There's your bearish left-right combo. But note that the little doji hammer supported right here at not only the 34 but the T-line, positive trading, bringing you back up above the resistance level, told you that you probably had more upside. This also would be illustrated as a J-hook pattern that if you took the 50-day moving average out, you'd still have a J-hook pattern. The bobble pattern is just a much more defined J-hook pattern, allowing, allowing you to see when to take profits and when to be back in with a high degree of probability that wave three was going to be the same magnitude as wave one. This is not rocket science. This is merely identifying the patterns that human nature does time after time putting you in situations where the profitability is greatly in your favor, number one. And number two, 
the magnitude of those profits are greatly enhanced based upon a signal or pattern is usually going to create a much stronger price move than merely an uptrending price during an uptrend. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.